What's good, Cancer? It's your girl, Mimi. Thank you for tuning in to my intro tarot. Hold up. Capricorn Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cap Yeah, Cancer. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. I hope we get some different messages because Jim and I, they read it worse. <laughs> I couldn't even get into the tarot deck for them. Like, they messages came out straight forward. Like, but let's go ahead and see what's up with my crybaby cancers. <laughs> CBC. <laughs> That's y'all nickname. CBC. Crybaby cancers. <laughs> My sister a cancer. That bitch is a motherfucking crybaby, like for real. For her to act so hard, that bitch is a crybaby. A crybaby. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, get into it, yeah. Give that relationship a chance. It's the overall energy. See, just give your relationship a chance. You may be trying to protect your feelings because you are very emotional. You're very sensitive. You may be trying to, to pr protect yourself from someone that you're currently dating or someone that you've been hanging out with and you find yourself having feelings for this person. You may be like, you know, very like standoffish with them. But Spirit is saying, just get a motherfucker a chance. You know, get up out your feelings sometimes. You ain't always got to. Put in all your emotions and shit. You ain't always got to be like that, Cancer. Just give it a chance, you know. Just date around. Don't take it so serious in the beginning. See, you ain't giving this motherfucker a chance because you ain't released your ex. You haven't released your ex. If you ain't released your ex, then you really shouldn't be dating around. Or even talking to nobody. Because if you ain't released your ex, then that means you ain't healed. And if you ain't healed then you going to take that shit out on this new motherfucker. But this new motherfucker could be the one. This is why Spirit is saying, give this motherfucker a chance and release that toxic-ass ex that you was motherfucking dealing with, okay? Yes, you may have got your motherfucking feelings hurt and shit, but Spirit said, let, let that shit the fuck go. Heal yourself and move the fuck on because you deserve love, don't you? Heart to heart conversations. This came up in the motherfucking reverse. So I feel like that you haven't released your ex. Because you haven't had a conversation with this person. You know, but sometimes things are better left unsaid. You feel me? Like, for instance, me and my ex, we pretty much been broken, not together since October 2020. We got back together and then we call it quits in April 2021. And... He did some fucked up ass shit to me. I always wanted to talk about it, but he never wanted to talk about it. But you think that I was just going to keep that shit on my chest and hold that shit in and not giving other motherfuckers a chance who could definitely be the one for me? No. Sometimes you just have to talk to God and forgive that person without getting an apology. That happens all the time. You, 99.9% .9 of the time, a motherfucker won't apologize to you. You just have to forget them motherfuckers anyways. So you won't live with that shit on your motherfucking shoulders and your motherfucking heart. Holding yourself down. Keep keeping yourself away from new relationships that can actually work out. Let go of control issues. See, it's like... Let go of the thoughts of things happening a certain type of way. Just because you want it to happen a certain type of way, just because you want things to go in a type of order that you thought in your head that it was going to go, that's not the way the universe works, okay? It's not up to you. You have to just continuously focus on yourself and continue to move forward. If your ex don't want to fucking apologize to you or have a fucking heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, then fuck it. Let the shit the fuck go and move forward because this person that you need to give a chance to could actually be the one. 
passion in the reverse. That's why you're not feeling any passion because you have control issues on how you and your ex is supposed to release each other. Just release the shit. That's what you have the power to do. You have the power to forgive this person, whether they apologized or not. Release this motherfucker. Because this person is living rent-free in your motherfucking energy. Preventing you from motherfucking moving forward. And 10 times out of 10, this ex is embarrassed to even conversate with you because of all of the shit that they did. They have too much pride, too much ego to even come and apologize to you. And 10 times out of 10, they fucking around and dating somebody else anyways. They ain't thinking about you. So while you sitting over here moping, still crying and shit, sad as fuck about your ex and what the fuck they did, you only hurting yourself because this motherfucker not, not doing the same thing for you. You need to go ahead and make that change. You need to go ahead and move forward because you're allowing your ex to remain in your energy. It's really preventing you from moving forward. And if you not making this change, this person that you need to give a chance, they going to be like, okay, this person also motherfucking bullshit. Let me move forward. And then they going to give somebody else a chance. And then you going to see them in a fucking ha happy relationship while you still standing there crying about your ex. And then you gonna be pissed off because you like, damn, I missed out on a fucking opportunity. That was actually good. You feel me? You just need to get out of your head. Get out of your motherfucking head and make that change because it's like you're driving yourself crazy at this point. Your ex don't want to apologize to you. Your ex don't want to talk to you. Let it the fuck go. Let it the fuck go and keep it pushing. You see how these elephants are just, just keep, well, they're, they're not swimming, but that's the energy that I'm getting. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And then we got the number 11. This new person that's coming into your life could be a motherfucking twin flame. I honestly feel like it is because these cards is, that's three. And then this one is 33. That's three, three, three. And then we got number 11. So 333 may resonate with you. And we all know what the fuck the number 11 means. Imagine a new beginning. Imagine yourself not fucking crying and moping around and shit. This is a divine masculine that you need to give a chance to. This is a masculine that you need to give a chance to. This person is very leveled. This person is divine. You need to go towards this motherfucker. And get that motherfucking ex out your motherfucking energy. Because that motherfucker clearly don't give a fuck about you. I know one thing for sure. I'm not going to be sitting around crying up over no motherfucking nigga. Because at the end of the day, you're the fucking empress. And... Spirit just needs you to forgive that motherfucker, let it the fuck go so you can get justice. So you can get justice with that masculine that you need to give a chance to. Whoever it is that you talking to right now, because it's definitely not your ex. Whoever is on your mind right now who's not your ex, this is the motherfucker you need to give a chance to. Fashion Nova always sending me emails. How about you give me a motherfucking 99.9% .9 discount, my nigga? <laughs> one more shuffle, because that last one was ugly. All right, let's see what the tarot got to say. Y'all, I couldn't even get into the tarot with Gemini. They reading was so toxic, man. Like, they reading was toxic. I couldn't even get into the tarot with them. Like, I went straight to the vice cards. I'm like, let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> wow.
You need to pull away from that toxic soul tie. You need to take back everything that you've invested into that toxic soul tie with that toxic ex. So I do see that you were invested in this person. Not only emotionally, but you were financially investing. You really wanted to be with this person. You were on your horse, like, putting in effort to be with this ex. But Spirit is saying it's time for you to take that back. Get away from that devil energy. Because that was definitely a toxic soul tie. That's four cards. That's too many. That was definitely a, a toxic soul tie. I hate when these motherfucking cards fall. Like, do it feel like? Do, do it look like I feel like bending over all motherfucking day, picking up cards and shit off the floor, titties falling out and shit. Wow. You may be dealing with an Aries and the fucking cancer card came out. So you just need to take the risk and go forward. Go towards this, this masculine who's in your life. You, you really need to do the inner work and put, let your guard down, put in the inner work, talk to God, talk to spirit. If you need to go see a therapist a counselor or anything, go talk to somebody to help you release this ex because sooner or later, the one that you need to give a chance to won't be there no more. And then it's going to be too late. And then you're going to be salty as fuck when you see this new person having a good time with somebody else. You're going to be salty. And then you really going to be crying because your ex don't give a fuck about you. And this new person who did care about you, they ain't going to care about you no more either because they, they going to move on. I know that that'll break my heart. You just have to use your discernment. And right now, spirit is saying to give this new relationship a chance and release that motherfucking toxic ass motherfucking ex. Take back everything that you put into that relationship. Just talk to God. Just pray. If you need to cry, cry. Crying always help. You a cancer, cry. <laughs> Y'all know I got to talk my shit. It's time to take action. That's what the reader been saying this whole time. It's time to take action. Re release that motherfucking ex and give your relationship a chance. Release and give. Let go. Those are action terms. Those are verbs. The energy is gaining momentum. I feel like that you watching this reading is literally going to open up your eyes. Like, damn, I really do need to go ahead and take action. And just look at the bigger picture. And I feel like the bigger picture is you going to be... Still crying over your ex, watching this love that you need to give a chance to give somebody else a chance. It's that simple. So uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I love y'all. Bye.